Hey guys, Doug here from Motion Raceworks. We're here today with episode six of Motion 360, and today we're gonna talk about parachutes. I get a ton of questions about uh, the difference between spring parachutes, uh, spring pilot, air launchers, and all that type of thing. And uh, I know there's a lot of confusion that goes around with it, and to be honest with you, I had the same confusion when I first uh, got into the whole realm of parachutes. So I figured I'd make a video, um, illustrate the differences, show you guys the differences, so you can make an informed choice on what your vehicle needs, and uh, hopefully just enlighten everybody so that when the time comes, or if the time's near, uh, you can pick the right parachute for your application. So here at Motion, we use Stroud Safety exclusively. Uh, there's a number of reasons for this, but the number one reason is they're made in the USA. The people at Stroud are awesome to deal with. They uh, have been around forever. The owner uh, is still very uh, involved in the company, and they have a great group of people uh, working there that are concentrated on your safety and on the quality of their product and that's something we can get behind. Quick side note, the owner of uh, Stroud Safety, Bob Stroud, tests his parachute uh, by jumping out of an airplane with him. So when he comes up with a new idea or a new improvement, he tests it by putting it on a parachute and jumps out of an airplane. And uh, I believe Bob is in his late 60s and the guy is still jumping out of airplanes. In fact, uh, a couple of years ago at PRI, he was hobbling around. Uh, he had a rough landing um, on some weird terrain and sprained his ankle. So that's pretty cool a little tidbit about Strad. Um, are what is right for my application. So I have the three different uh, styles of parachutes uh, laid out here on the table. And these are the three primary styles and Stroud carries them and so do other companies. And there are significant differences and reasons why you would use them on one uh, project or what we call a spring uh, pilot style chute. And basically this is a parachute that's the most common. You're gonna see this on a lot of sportsman cars and weekend warriors types of cars. And basically the inner pack is in there. These are the ones that are just hanging off the back of uh, your everyday Joe's car. And basically how this parachute deploys is this spring gets jammed in here and you put your pin around here. So this spring, uh, which is also a small pilot chute, um, when you pull the, the lever or cable and it comes out and pulls a pin, this is gonna shoot out because it's spring loaded and the pilot, the little mini parachute here, catches air and what that does is it pulls the rest of this out, the big bag, out of the parachute bag that stays on the car. This part stays on the car. So this comes out and then it yanks the main parachute out and deploys it. So this parachute is great for anybody who um, is just crossing 150 mile an hour and a quarter uh, border or the eighth mile numbers and needs to have one um, by safety standards. It, they work great. The biggest downfall about these parachutes are they're a little harder to pack and the number two thing is they actually deploy slower than the other two options I will show you here. And the reason for that is a lot has to happen before the main parachute gets ripped out of the bag and then blossoms. So because this has to come out, this has to catch air, and then it still has to drag all of this out of the bag, that's kind of a slow process. It does work fine and depending on your driving style, most people will never see it as an issue. But uh, this works great on a car that has good airflow over the back of it, um, real close to where the parachute is, uh, where it can catch air for the pilot to work. It doesn't work good on things with a tall back end like a um, blazer, a truck with a topper, um, some car designs. So that is gonna be a factor we keep in. Back to this a little bit. Um, these parachutes um, come in size 410, 420, 430, and I will do more on sizing later, but this is gonna be your more entry level from a price standpoint, anywhere from high 300s to low 400s in price. All of our, the Stroud parachutes come in a variety of colors, uh, black being the most popular, and the reason why I tell people to just run a black one is because by the time this thing drags down the dirty return road and down the track, they look dingy and crappy anyways, so, I like sticking with black because it stays clean and I don't get uh, crazy feelings like I need to wash my parachute every two weeks here. Um, and this is one that the last 
the regular spring pilot and this one get mixed up with this is called a spring launcher and as you can see this one is designed a little bit different so this is we're going to require a different mount that's open in the back uh, a lot of the guys will make like a tubular frame with tabs to hold them on versus like the x plate that we use for our parachutes for our bolt-on kits so what this is, it has a canister in the back that holds a spring. And so you can see this uh, strapping here. Um, it requires you to line this up. There's a nut on this side. And what it does is it pulls the spring in. So the nice thing about this is between rounds, it's pretty easy to uh, pack and doesn't require a CO2 system. So basically what you do is you put a ratchet here and you pull this spring in. And so when the spring's in, you push this pin through um, right here so it holds it. And then what you can do is just push your bag in, cinch it up, and you're done. So it's a lot easier to pack. Um, requires a different mount. This one is in the $800 range, so it's significantly more expensive. But the biggest advantage you get from this is a lot quicker deploy time than you do with this. Uh, because there's a lot more stored energy in this spring versus that other spring. This thing, when you pull the pin, um, it pushes a chute out and is not nearly as dependent on this uh, little pilot thing uh, to deploy the parachute because it's sending the bag out on its own. So as soon as that bag gets to the end of the cord, it's gonna rip the parachute out and be done. So I've got guys with like S10 blazers and trucks with toppers. This is the parachute that you need. Uh, or if you have another style vehicle with some dead area in the back, um, this would be the style you would need um, because this spring pilot is not going to be able to catch air on something that has a real tall um, dead space. So it's going to uh, rely on something like this to deploy a parachute. After the spring is loaded, this bag looks very similar. So let's talk about these bags a little bit. These are the reason why I love Stroud. Um, if you've ever tried to pack a parachute from a competitor brand that doesn't have a bag, it's I kind of compare it to walking through the dark at night and stubbing your toe on a door. Um, you're like, why did I just do that? This is the worst thing ever. If you pack a parachute without one of these bags that holds the parachute, you're gonna feel like you stubbed your toe. You're like, why did I spend $400 on this piece of shit parachute that is not able to be packed? So what this bag allows you to do is roll up your parachute, fold it up, pack it in here, and then pack it in here. So basically when you're going to cinch this all down, um, you don't have a parachute trying to shoot out the side because it's contained in this bag. It makes all the difference in the world. It seems very simple and elementary, but if you pack one without this and then you go to this style chute, you will never go back again. Very similar concept uh, to the spring launcher. The, the last style of parachute is an air launcher. So basically what this one is, it has a air cylinder that rockets that parachute uh, bag um, out. So this thing gets charged with CO2 at 150 PSI and it's actually charged as soon as you pack it you flip an arm switch and this thing gets tight in here and it's ready to go so as soon as that pin is pulled um, which is operated by a regular handle lever um, that parachute just flies out so i like this better than the spring launcher they're both the same price uh, but this does require air to be on board of the car um, it's a lot easier to pack this one because you simply just deactivate the co2 uh, after the run and then you shove this plunger back into here and then you just stick your pack in there and you're done so there's no cranking of the spring or anything like that um, it possibly act, it possibly works better than a spring launcher it's not nearly as big and it just is overall a lot better so my suggestion is always if you're needing something more than a standard spring pilot go to an air launcher if you don't have co2 on board and you absolutely don't want to put co2 on board then do a spring launcher um, again, same bag, same this. Uh, the great thing about Stroud is a lot of um, what they make is all very interchangeable. So there's not tons of moving parts. Um, if you're at a race, we always carry a lot of extras and backups in the trailer. It's just a very good product. Recently just uh, changed their fabric design on the chute itself. And it's, they didn't have to do this, but it's a more durable fabric. So 
their life expectancy out of a parachute dragging around the pits or the return road is much higher now than it used to be. And they think they were already probably about the highest and best in the industry to begin with. So they're kind of setting their own bar. They also have this new black bridle cord that hangs out of the back now just for a little bit sleeker look. And this is the most important tag on this whole thing here. The last thing I want to say is there will be a link at the bottom of the video um, to a reference chart. So this is a sizing reference chart for a Stroud parachute. As you can see, it just has weight in, on one axis and vehicle speed on the other. You can go ahead and jump on our website, access this, and you'll know which parachute to um, order for your application. So for instance, if you have a 3,000 pound car that's going 160 mile an hour, we're gonna go 3,000. 160 it's going to put us in a 430 um, zone for the parachute and then over 200 mile an hour you have to have dual shoots regardless of what your car weighs so uh, just something to keep in mind now that said if you um, are having trouble or questions picking out what you need for your application you can always give us a call 563-345-7223 or shoot us an email sales at motionraceworks.com we're always happy to talk about your project with you and decide what we can um, set you up with that'll work the best for your application i hope that helps clarify uh, the difference in the different styles of parachutes i know it can be a little daunting and confusing but now that you've seen them in person next to each other uh, comparatively that should help you choose the correct one for your car as always, you can call us um, or email us, sales at motionraceworks.com. We're always happy to help. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. There's more to come.